The other thing we talked a little bit about already is that you're going to burn muscle, right? And again, the idea is that you're, you're, you're going to burn protein to provide glucose, right? And this doesn't actually happen. And this has been known, again, for 20, 25 years. So if you look at urea, urea is this big line here. So it's a breakdown product of protein. So you can see that you excrete a certain amount of um, nitrogen every day. You're also taking in a certain amount of nitrogen every day, right? This is under normal conditions. Now you fast people, like you just give them nothing to eat. Well, what happens? Well, there's virtually no urea coming out, right? Now there's nothing going in too, but what you, you notice is that you're not burning muscle because if you're burning muscle, that urea should skyrocket or at least be as high as this. So your body is actively conserving your protein, your muscle mass, right? And that's what happens during fasting. And you can do 70 days of alternate daily fasting, right? So 70 days is more than two and a bit months. And what you see is that the, if you measure fat mass and fat-free mass in this study, you can see that fat mass goes down very nicely from 43.5 to 38.1 kilos. And the fat-free mass, your lean mass, doesn't move at all. So these are sort of some of the myths that everybody tells you, right? Starvation mode, burning protein.